This is the Electron X Lab, and in this video, I'm going to determine the equation for calculating power when a DC circuit is at its maximum power point. So given a source voltage with an output resistance like this, what is the maximum power that you can give to the load? Well, from a previous video, you know that you're going to get the maximum power delivered to the load when RL is equal to RS. And when RL is equal to RS, the voltage across the load will be the source voltage times RL over RL plus RL, because RS is equal to RL. So this means the source, the load voltage will be one half the source voltage. And now we can go and look at the power to the load, which is equal to VL squared over RL. And we want to put this in terms of VS and RS. Vs, Rs, and Rl. Uh, so Vl squared is simply one half of Vs, all squared. And we divide that, we divide that by Rl, and that gives us one quarter Vs squared over Rl. Or if we wrote it out in decimal form, 0.25 Vs squared over Rl. So that is what the maximum power is going to be for any circuit that looks like this, where you have a thevenized equivalent resistance or just a source with an output resistance, and you're matching the load resistance to the output resistance or the thevenin resistance of your source. It's one quarter of Vs squared over RL. So we know the power to the load when we are at the maximum power point. But one thing we always want to consider when we're talking about power is efficiency. Because when we're at the maximum power point, that doesn't mean and it's not the maximum efficiency point. How much, what is the efficiency when we're at the maximum power point? Well, that's an interesting question to answer. And we, we have an equation now for the power to the load, so that's, much how, that, that's how much power is being output from the system. But what about the power that's being delivered by the system, the power that's being output by the source? Well, that's a pretty simple equation to, uh, to deal with. It's the voltage from the source squared divided by the total resistance of the circuit. And remember, we're at the point, the maximum power point, so RL and RS are equal. So that's going to simply be Vs squared over 2RL, or 0.5 Vs squared over RL. And the efficiency of the system is the power out, so that's the power delivered to the load divided by the power delivered by the source times 100% to get a value in percentage. And that will be 0.25 Vs squared over RL divided by 0.5 Vs squared over RL. These terms are common in the de denominator and in the numerator. So we have 0.25 over 0.5. Well, actually, this is, of course, times 100% to get a percentage answer. And then that works out to 50%. So when we're at the maximum power point, when we're delivering maximum power to the load, half the power that we are creating from the source is getting wasted in the source resistance. And that's it. We've done an analysis to figure out what the power to the load is when we're at the maximum power point. And we've done an analysis to figure out what the efficiency is when we're at the maximum power point. And this is going to apply regardless of the system that you're dealing with if you are at the point where RS and RL are equal and we're delivering maximum power to the load. So thank you for watching my video. See you next time.